Uh, but let's check out these highlights and how we got here with Shaq doing inside Clipper Joe. Oh, that man, a cat. There is something about Anthony Edwards that is special, and we are going to have to wait and see the news on Kawhi Leonard. Hopefully, we really hope that he's doing okay. Clippers got off to a hot start. Harden, triple. Then Paul George to Kawhi, the floater. And then Leonard to George. Paul George, move. baseline slam. Clippers up 15 early in the first. Second quarter, Norman Powell extending the lead. At this point, Kawhi had already gone to the locker room, changed into street clothes, but the Clippers still had the lead. This is about the time when Shaq looked at us and said, Minnesota's coming back to win this game, and Anthony Edwards went crazy. Because you know what? I, I recognize an alien from my planet of BYA. Oh, BYA. BYA stands for Bush Ass. Oh, nice. He's in LA. He wants all the smoke. He wants to be great. He knows his team is under man. Listen, we, we, we could be down 15 20, but here I come. And then Kawhi goes away. And like he said in the interview, if you don't have the best defender on him and you're just putting all these, you know, other little cats on him, I'm going to go to work and everybody else. Yeah, Kawhi left the inspired. arena due to back spasms, did not return. Everybody else played inspired. And listen, when your leader plays hard and you start doing things, the others will follow. Nikhil Alexander-Walker unconscious in oh, this Oh, get game. them knees up, Rudy. Five threes. So look at that. Look, look at, at that. this. Look, yeah, good luck, Garden. That, move, that fade away. Ooh. That's too much game. Too, too much hoop game. I recognize him from the planet BYA. <laughs> He's one of our young Martians. Minnesota now with a six point lead. Mike Conley was feeling it as well. He had five threes. Ten mm -hmm. threes. Oh, okay, Rudy. Alexander What'd you Walker. say when that happens to you? you like oh, I like that foul, Rudy. flashes. Yes, right there. When you're flying through the air. Especially when you're I like over that seven right there. Kicking them legs like a fish out of water. Gobert did not return, so another injury. What? As you can see, grabbing his chest. We're going to have to monitor going hey, forward. Here's some Icy Hot rib juice. Oh, rib juice. Now about uh. from Icy Hot. Anthony Edwards, two threes, and this one 37 points. The Minnesota Timberwolves outscored the Clippers by 26 in the second half alone. Outscored them by 16 on the fast break, 22 in the paint. Gobert had seven offensive rebounds. The entire Clippers roster had eight offensive rebounds. But the Timberwolves in a very tight Western Conference race get a very key win over the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's check out another game that could impact those West standings. Young stars, young stars. MVP, young stars. MVP. Pacers, Thunder. Future of the NBA at the guard position in full effect in this opening block. Miles Turner, jumper. Saying the Pacers Check this lob out the top. Oh, and he went up. Pacers are so in tune with each other, play well, make the right plays. Everybody loves playing with each other. It's going to be a dangerous team. I would hate to play this young team in the playoffs in the first round. Because you know Indy's going to be popping, too. Yes, it is. Indy was up 12 at halftime in Oklahoma City. SGA would finish with 30, 10, and 5, which is oh. seemingly what he does every game. Chet from deep. Chet had three threes on the night. Oh, do something with it. But as Candace pointed out at halftime, this is an Oklahoma City team that does not lose at home very often. Oh, give me that. And Indy went in and tried to control the pace here. Holmgren gonna... gets the block on one end. I was going to say, get that Chet out of here. And then Chet with the slam. <laughs> 15 and 13. I like that. Yeah, you can have it. Watch this drive by Neesmith. Oh! oh yes. No, up no, and no. over SGA. No, SGA. No, it was not a dump. It was aggressive. Oh, he wanted it back. Is that a power layup? That was a dump. Okay, looking like Horace Grant out there. 24 for Turner. Look yeah, at the lead. Slam down. Uh -oh. Man down. Indy wins this one 121 111, getting a very big W for is that them. A real shot. It looks pretty, but is it? Well, like, Halliburton? That shot. Yeah, yeah that's it? a shot. Again, SGA with A very with nice shot. 10. There's another guy that played at Indy that didn't have a normal follow through and was yeah, a pretty good, point, good shooter. Good point. Good point. Indy Herb gets the win right. with only good nine point. threes, a very low total for them, but 34 assists for the Indiana Pacers, of course, led by 12 from Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, let's look at those Western Conference standings and everything that changed. Thunder with the loss now moves them into a tie for first with the Nuggets. It also means that the Timberwolves, with their win, are just a half a game back. The top of the standings right now are tough. The third place team right now would face the Phoenix Suns, and you saw all the action down there. Put that back up.
One more time, let's put the standings up. Shaq is still processing his big take. Shaq, what do you see? I don't know, Candace and Jamal, if you guys ever thought like this. If you're the Nuggets, do you want to stay two? Because if the playoffs start today, you play the winner of the Kings and Mavericks, or do you try to go and run and face a dangerous Lakers Warriors? Now, some other things could happen, too. Yeah, I'd be a loser, though, if you're one seed. And okay. here's what the brackets would be today if it were to happen. Minnesota Phoenix, Clippers, Pelicans, and then, of course, OKC and Denver facing whoever comes out of the, that mix. If you're the Nuggets, after you've already proven you can win it, you'll play anywhere. I know Mike Malone. I play for him. He's assistant coach with the Knicks. He's going to have them rev up to play anywhere. Remember yeah, when he talked about the Lakers before? He wants all the smoke with anybody. Yeah, but we oh, all know. He definitely wants to smoke with the Lakers. We all know it's about matchups. I wouldn't want to play Golden State, and then all of a sudden Clay wakes up. Because right now nobody's really, you know, scouting for Clay. But dude, I don't want him having two or three good games and then, you know, putting pressure on him. So I would, I, I would rather play Sacramento or Dallas mm. if I was Denver. I think it's also avoiding Phoenix. Like the yeah, third the seed yeah, to me right. is the one of the three of Good the point. Timberwolves Thunder. Can you imagine a Thunder Phoenix first round matchup, Ooh. a T Wolves Phoenix first round ma matchup, Ooh. or a Denver Phoenix first round matchup? So to me, I think the team in that playoff is to avoid is like where you're jockeying for position is that. And it'll probably be one of those three, like you said. Mm -hmm. Like Phoenix is going to be the most dangerous that nobody's talking about. I'm telling you, Shaq, they're going to be dangerous going down the stretch. I want to give the young guy more props from what we saw from Anthony Edwards before we keep talking about the playoffs because we talked about what happens to this team without Carl Anthony Towns and what that's going to be on Anthony Edwards' shoulders. And we were in the back after every play going, wow. I just want to give him more credit on national TV being down 22 and winning by 22. Shaq said it earlier, like, He's seen a young Kobe. He's seen a young D-Wade. Ant-Man is cut from that cloth. There's no doubt about it. He wants to be great. He wants to be one of the greatest. He, look who he's right guarding. Here. Look that who he's play. guarding. He's not hiding like a lot of people do and saying, you know, I'm going to go guard over here away from the action. defending of Paul George. And he's like Neil in the Matrix right there. That was truly incredible. And Jamal, I don't know what you're saying. Like, SGA impresses me. But the first two years, I didn't really hear about him. Ant-Man has been like this since high school. Mm. So I don't have to teach him how to be a dog. He, he's already a dog. He's the, he's, he's the puppy litter that when you look at all them pit bulls, he's that one pit bull that's already biting and going crazy. He's going, I want him. That's the one I want. So, you know, uh, no uh, disrespect to SGA, but he definitely, you know, when, when he was with the Clippers, he wasn't doing what he's doing now. So he's developed into that. Ant-Man has been doing this since high school and college. So. And he's a real dog. Like, yes, there's, he is. there's some fake dogs. When things are going well, they're... You know, they're not front running, but they're running in front. He's a real dog. He's going to get you. You know, I will say this. Ant-Man, if he's on that level, which he raises to the occasion, rises to the occasion. And I think his post-game interview for me is the confidence that you can't teach. Like that unwavering belief in yourself, and that's what you need in the playoffs. Like he doesn't doubt it. If he's 15 for 29, he's going to take the same shot and play the same way. And I think a young team or a young star like him, and I know you don't like to say it, we'll just say Cat, but he reminds me a lot of the greats that play on both ends of the floor. Mm. Like, this isn't just him leading offensively. This is him leading the Timberwolves defensively. They're the number one team in the league yep. defensively. Uh, fourth seeded team right now in the West is the Clippers. They lose this game. Coach Ty Lue sitting down at the podium. Now let's take a listen to what he has to say. Ty, uh, what do you know about Kawhi's um, issue, and was he dealing with this uh, earlier than tonight? Yeah, he's been dealing with it for a couple of days. Um, back spasms, and um, wasn't sure if he was going to go this morning, but he came to uh, shoot around, got some treatment, did what he had to do, and tried to get on the court and play today, and um, it just didn't, it didn't loosen up for him. Do you, uh, do you think he can make the upcoming trip? Uh, I'm not sure. I hope so. Hey, when you, when you have a, I don't want to attribute. All right, so uh, there was he left Sunday's game. Kawhi did with a groin injury. We're gonna wait and see. 
The Clippers are going on a road trip. Four of their next five are on the road. They go to Chicago, to New Orleans, home against Atlanta, and then two straight games in Portland. But this is definitely a scary sight, an all-star for the Clippers. The reason that I think everyone believes in the Clippers is because he has been healthy, starting in 57 of 63 games. If he doesn't go, it does seem like the Western Conference as a whole could change. It's something we'll monitor, and again, we're hoping that he is okay. You know, a lot of teams have that if they're healthy to play well. Knicks are one of those teams. Philly's one of those teams. And same goes for the Clippers. You know, if, if those guys are healthy, they're definitely dangerous. Ken to show in the first half when they all were in, they were moving the ball. Uh, very fluid out there, looked really good. But one of those guys go down, and then one of the other two don't step up. And you don't have a Russell Westbrook. They become a regular team. That's why when I was looking at Ant, and I'm saying, you know, this kid's a dog. He wants it. They're in L.A. There's three places you always got to have a great game in. L.A., Miami, and New York. And when he walked in the arena in that hoodie, I already knew. It was like, hey, I'm in L.A. I've been out here a few days. Knees feeling nice. I know I'm going to go to work. So when they got down by 20, a guy like Ant who never stops, mm -hmm. that's why I said, you know what? But Kawhi going out, the Clippers going to have some, you know, some uh, you know, faultage, and then he's just going to do what he does. I think T. Lou is just concerned about getting the Clippers to the playoffs healthy, yeah. which he's talked about. But a bigger piece, I mean, Russell Westbrook finished a lot of games for the Clippers, and he orchestrated a lot of Norman Powell shots. Mm. And so now you see Bones Highland moving into that role, and he doesn't play the facilitating, push the ball, change the tempo that Russ does. So I think not only Kawhi being out, but also Russ not being in, to kind of usher that second unit into that third quarter and what they scored 15 points in that third quarter, which I think has a huge impact on them. And the depth, this is what it's for, right? Obviously, nobody could replace Kawhi, but that means to Shaq's point, this is where PG has to go to 30. Now Harden has to go to 25. Yep. And oh, by the way, Norman Powell had 11 at the half. He ended with 11. Yep. He has to go up to Norman 20. Powell, Amir he only Coffee, took three or four more guys. shots. But is Powell a get his own shot kind of guy? He can go get his some. No, I, I didn't say some. he can't. I'm saying where he's been successful, it's been usually on the catch and shoot. It is, but my thing is he took six shots at the half, he ended with nine shots. Mm. Like, that's where you have to have the aggressiveness to keep going because your team needs it right now. You're missing your top gun. But long term, if Kawhi's not healthy, it doesn't, the Clippers, it doesn't really matter at that point. And I just want to say one thing about the Western Conference seedings. I know we can focus on the first round matchups. Home court advantage in the second round is going to be so important. You look at those top three teams in the West. Oklahoma City, 26 and 7 at home, 19 and 13 on the road. Denver, 27 and 6 at home, 18 and 14 on the road. It's different environments. 53 games over 500 at home. Only 19 on the road for yeah, those top three. That, that altitude. Out here wearing those Ant-Man Stormtroopers. Hey. Let's look at, at Candace's yeah. oh, kicks. Uh, Speed heat. About to drop step. She needs some lotion on the mask she made, too. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> What'd you say? Who's your favorite tennis player, Arthur Ashe? <laughs> I am not Ashy. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Ash for the Simpsons. Get out of here. I'm not Ashy. <laughs> Ash hey, Candace, can you Ash at me some money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not Ashy.